the day was the ninth stage of this year's Vuelta. It was a tough stage, um, lots of climbs, um, but it was honestly also a little bit boring to watch, as it was pretty obvious from the start that the race would only truly explode on the final climb. Um, there was a breakaway group today that managed to stay clear again, and the strongest climber within that group was Louis Manches, and he proved that by winning the stage. Like uh, He outpaced his fellow breakaway riders and won the stage, so a very good victory for him. As for the contenders, um, Remco had his teamwork all day for him. La Philippe especially did a fantastic job. It was a bit of tricky, a bit dangerous in the lead up uh, to the final climb, and he piloted uh, even the pool perfectly. Um, once they reached the final climb, the race truly began. Um, Ayuso attacked, actually, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Um, but Remco quickly caught him back. Um, and then basically took control of the climb. Um, Roglic was a little bit back, so he had to uh, um, do his best to just catch up uh, to the rest of them. Um, and once uh, Remco uh, started doing his pace, he, he had a very difficult time um, hanging on, and he eventually got dropped as a result. Um, Maas hung on the longest, but he also got dropped, so this time Evenpool managed to drop everyone. Um, I think it would have actually been better if Ayuso, uh, Roglic, uh, Moss, and Rodriguez had paced their own tempo from the start. Like I think they would have lost less time today. But they tried to attack or follow Remco and they ended up blowing up a little bit. Um, and once they like dropped and were forced to ride their own, their own tempo, they basically improved. Um, they, they did better. So uh, yeah, they, they should have probably just pace themselves, um, but they tried to follow Evenepoel and they couldn't do it. Um, so Evenepoel was be definitely the best uh, today. Now I thought the time difference today wouldn't be that big and I was proven right at the end, So because even though um, everyone dropped pretty early on on the climb, um, they didn't lose that much time. Um, the, uh, everyone finished, well of the four that I just managed, they all four, those four uh, I used so Roglic, um, Rodriguez and Maas all finished within a minute of Evenepoel. Um, yeah, but Evenepoel was definitely the best in the race today. Um, he like he did his usual thing, like I said, a fast tempo and just rides very, very fast. Um, but even he had a difficult time on the steep uh, climb today at the end. It was very, very steep. like. He almost stood still at times. It was that hard. Like he was grimacing. Normally his face pretty straight, but he was grimacing. He was uh, showing all kinds of faces. So it was definitely difficult. And he was definitely going all out today. Once everyone uh, got dropped out of his wheel, um, what was absolutely absolutely amazing to see. It was a fantastic performance of Franco Evenpool today. Um, to be honest, I uh, I can't remember a Belgian destroying a GC field. Uh, like that in my whole life. Like, Van Aert did some pretty awesome stuff, but it's not that. It's not like this. Um, this was something special, something more, something different. So fantastic to see. Um, yeah, at the end of the climb, um, Ayuso, who was second best today after Evenepoel of the GC contenders, lost forty seconds on him today. Maas and Rodriguez lost 50 and Roglic managed to uh, lose only 55 seconds. It looked like worse at the start of the climb, but he, he recovered. Um, well, he still lost 55 seconds, but it, it, looked, it looked like it was going to be worse than this. Um, so as a result of that, um, Maas is now on 1 minute and 12, um, Roglic on 1 minute and 53. Ayuso on 2 minutes uh, 36 seconds and Rodriguez on 2 minutes and 33 seconds. So Ayuso is still a couple of seconds behind Rodriguez, but not by much anymore. Um, yeah, tomorrow is going to be a rest day. And I think everyone's going to uh, get checked up for coronavirus. And I'm very, um, I'm, I'm hoping um, that nobody will have caught the coronavirus, especially not Remco, because that would be an absolute disaster. Like imagine the leader of the Vuelta 
having to abandon the race because of Corona. It would just be an absolute disaster. Um, but it's it's something that really scares me. Like, and I think it's it's a genuine possibility because Peter Seri, which is a colleague of uh, of, of, of Remco, is like a rider of Quickstep. I was forced to abandon the race because of Corona today. Um, so it's uh, it's a bit scary. Um, I hope Remco does not have Corona. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but it would be absolutely terrible if he does. Um, so I'm hoping Corona doesn't hang around Quickstep the way he did uh, it UAE, UAE during the tour. Um, I generally feared during the tour that Pogacar was going to have um, Corona and I think ASO did as well because I think, and that's just my, my thoughts, I'm not sure if that's true of course, but I think that's maybe why they uh, apparently did a very terrible job at uh, doing the tests with the riders because I think they feared Pogacar might, might have Corona. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's not the case. Like, I absolutely uh, disliked it when Almeida was forced to abandon the Giro because of it. And, of course, I'm not a doctor, and they're the ones who have to um, judge and determine whether or not, um, yeah, how bad it is and how, what, what's good for, for the health and stuff like that. Um, like, sometimes, to me, Corona seems like a bad flu, sometimes a lot worse, because, yeah, and... Like, I'm not a doctor, I can't determine that. It's up to them to determine um, what the appropriate, appropriate measures are to combat Corona. And if they say uh, you have to leave if you, if you got Corona, okay, that's what it is. It's just, yeah, it's not something you want as a sports fan. As a sports fan, you just want people to be able to compete for what they've been working hard for the entire year. And, like, to think the Volta might be determined uh, by Corona, that would be just absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, it, it might be, yeah, it might happen and I, j I hope it, it doesn't, of course, um, but it is what it is, uh, it's just not a good situation where we're in, like, Corona's terrible, it's been terrible for two years, uh, and it's still going on, so, yeah, nothing we can do about it, I guess, by it's through it, I guess, um, now the day after the rest day, will be time trial and that's gonna hopefully be even a pool day like he's been working uh he's been not working and he's been working for that all year to be honest like uh he's it's definitely it's day he definitely been preparing for um and hopefully all goes well like he doesn't crash uh, he does a good time and hopefully he puts enric moss on quite some time he also distances Roglic a little bit I don't think he's going to get much time on Roglic, but we can always, always hope he manages to like, put 30, 40 seconds into him. Like, I know that's wishful thinking. I know it's even possible for Roglic to uh, gain back some time on Evenepoel. But, you know, I'm hoping for Evenepoel to do another great job and distance Roglic as well. Because um, I still see Roglic as the biggest contender, uh, like the biggest rival for Evenepoel. I'm also very looking forward uh, to seeing Ayuso's time trial, um, cause this guy is scary good. Like he's only 19 years old and his performance are already like this. It's just, it's quite scary. Like he's still three years younger than Evenepoel and he's already performing like this. It's mind boggling how good he is already. Um, so yeah, I'm very much curious. Uh, I'm very curious about his time trial. Um, but I'm hoping, like, because this time trial is very important for the, the rest of the Vuelta. So I'm hoping Evenepoel uh, does well and he gets to have a little bit of a cushion uh, towards the rest of the Vuelta. Um, I think this time trial will determine how people will ride uh, from here on out. Because there's still the Sierra Nevada to come. And um, if he got a little bit of a solid cushion, uh, Evenepoel uh, can even uh, lose some time there and still come out of on top. So, yeah, I'm hoping everything goes as planned. I'm hoping Remco has another fantastic day. I'm hoping he has another fantastic performance and that he'll blow uh, the whole GC uh, guys away one more time and just wins the stage, wins the team time trial. Uh, wins a time trial, it's not a team time trial, it's an individual time trial, of course. So, yeah, I'm here still hoping 
he wins it.